It's something most of us take for granted, but couldn't live without. I'm Callie Lewis. This is Geek Beat, and today we celebrate 20 years of text messaging. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Netflix. Do you remember your very first text message? I don't remember what I said in mine, but I do specifically remember looking at my phone thinking, all right, I've heard about this newfangled technology. Let's give it a try. I love those moments of pure tech joy. Text messaging is turning 20 years old this year. Two thirds of the world's population have access to the joy of text. That's more than 4 billion people with SMS capable devices, a far reaching technology, literally, that Silicon Valley had nothing to do with. It. Short Message Service was conceived as part of GSM, a common mobile telephone system. It was first discussed as early as 1982. Five years later, 13 European countries signed on, and the first GSM phone call was made by the Finnish Prime Minister in 1991. GSM handsets with SMS capability went on sale a year later in 1992. The genius of SMS was that it used GSM signaling paths when control circuits were quiet, and it's limited to small bits of data. Data, no more than 160 characters, so it cost next to nothing to send and didn't tax the network. Nokia was the first cell phone manufacturer to release an entire phone line that supported SMS messaging. This was in 1993 and it resulted in the first commercially sold SMS service to be offered to Finnish customers. SMS service ramped up slowly but reached critical mass by 2006. Users in the UK alone sent more than 200 million SMS messages to each other on Christmas Day. No Christmas cards anymore? Fast forward to today. SMS is now available all over the world. What we take for granted in the first world is ground changing technology in developing third world nations. So let's put it into perspective. Two years ago, yearly SMS text traffic shattered the six trillion message mark worldwide. That's the equivalent of 193,000 SMS messages per second. And a short message service is a massive commercial industry. It generates more than $115 billion in revenue worldwide each year. Remember how I said it costs next to nothing to send? Companies make a killing on SMS, but don't get me started on that. That'll be an entirely new show. <laughs> Guess what? I have finally finished the Battlestar Galactica series on Netflix. It's super addictive. If you haven't, you can watch it yourself. Netflix is even available in the UK and Ireland now. You have instant access to TV shows and movies you can stream to pretty much any device, your phone, your tablet, your Xbox, your PS3, whatever. Get the same free trial as in the US, netflix.co.uk slash geekbeat or netflix.ie slash geekbeat or just all regular netflix.com slash geekbeat. Now I have to find another TV series to watch. Any suggestions? Psych. Psych? Yeah. Oh. So on December 3rd, 2012, raise a glass of bacon flavored soda, or whatever your favorite beverage is, and toast the 20th anniversary of the very first SMS ever sent. It went out that day over the Vodafone GSM network from one computer scientist PC to another computer scientist Orbitel 901 handset. The text message? Merry Christmas. I'm Callie Lewis. Instead of giving my phone number out to the entire world, I look forward to hearing from you, each and every one of you, on Twitter and Google+. Bye. Cheers. Two years ago, yearly SMS text trap. Two years ago, near... Mm. Nokia. Nokia.